I'm back. I know you're surprised that you haven't seen me for a while, but I am back. I am known these days as Gavin Gale. I'm Gavin with Gale because I help you grow your business. And today I want to talk to you about the upcoming interview that I'm going to be posting on my podcast channel, The Gale Foley Show. When I was very active in my network marketing company and I've been involved for like 10 years with one company for three and then uh, almost eight with another one so three and eight almost 11 years okay I'm doing good with math this morning anyway what I want to share with you is that the efforts efforts emphasis <laughs> woohoo maybe rewind this one emphasis hmm was always on attending the company events, getting your team together and attending your company events. I got to tell you, I love company events. I love the camaraderie, hanging out with people that have the same passion and drive and desire as you do. They're there because they want to learn more about the business. They're there to walk across the stage and receive an award. They're there to connect with friends. With me, I always had team members from around the country that I only actually saw at our events. And I think that's the way it is with a lot of teams. Your cousin signed someone up in another state and so forth and so on. And it just, it's exciting and it's fun. And sometimes it can be very expensive. <laughs> I know this. Okay, I went on four trips last year. Every single one of them was wonderful. Truly worthwhile. And I can't wait to book the next one. That's my fever. I love to travel. I love to get a new wardrobe every time I go on a trip. Okay, that's a woman thing. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get back to the whole point of this process. Okay, tomorrow, or no, Friday, my interview will be with a gentleman who has been very instrumental for years helping people find their career choice. He does career expos where he brings a lot of companies together that are looking for employees and he gives people the opportunity to come in with their resumes or without their resumes. He actually has people on the staff there that will create your resume right there for you and then you can then take that resume around with a little um, UB you know, plug in there and <laughs> Voila, there's your resume, and people have found jobs right then and there. So that's the event planning that he's been part of for years. And so when I sort of flipped my hat, and instead of being an active network marketer, I'm still with my company. It's a great residual, but I'm ready for new adventures. I'm off-center here. That drives me nuts. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, there we go. All right. Now, okay. So little things. So... As I said, I, I flipped my hat around, and now instead of being a person building a team and an organization, I'm not attending those events because it's not my passion. I love what I did, but I'm growing in a different direction. I found my true purpose, I believe, and my path in helping people grow in their business in a different way. And that's by spreading the word through social media, through my podcasting broadcasts and my show and my videos. And so I'm thinking, okay, as an entrepreneur, I can't, I can't just not travel. Well, if you're an entrepreneur, you probably already know this. If you're not, I'm sharing this with you. There are things all over the place for entrepreneurs that aren't attached to a particular company and a team environment. So, for example, this interview I'm doing this week is about an unconference. It is a new concept that has brought itself right here to where I live. It's going on around the country, and it's different. It's entrepreneurs coming together with an entrepreneurial mindset. It's going to provide people the opportunity to meet with mentors. It's going to be able, you're going to, if you need funding, you can sit down with someone that is in a position to hear your plan, sort of like Shark Tank, but not on that big a scale. Speaker that's going to tell his story about where he came from. Imagine in your backyard 
You don't have to spend traveling expense, but you can be very involved in attending an event, and that event might just hold your audience connections. For example, I'm going to this one with entrepreneurs because that's a big part of my listening audience. People that have poo burst out of all the stuff they don't like to do and now are traveling on a path of something they want to do. Well, even though we want to do it, we still need our mentors, we still need our funding, and we still need to hang out with like-minded people. So I encourage you to listen to my interview on Friday. It's going to be with Bob Loudermilk of Quantum Expositions. And he's going to be talking about the unconference. And I just want to encourage anyone that's listening. If you are in a position to go out and take advantage of events where your prospects are hanging out, where your audience is hanging out, where you just want to be with people with a like-minded posture, it is invaluable to your life, personally, professionally. You will grow. You will be inspired. You'll make lifelong friends. It will be an absolute blast. So that's my message for today. I'm encouraging you, no matter what you're doing, to attend events locally. If you got to cross some borders to get there, do it. I love traveling. This, I'm just saying. Okay. And in the meantime, you know what I'm going to ask you. Yes, I am. Pass on that smile today because I'm giving one right back at you right now. Bye-bye.